if you don't know who I am, my name is Jolandi, and I have the sweetest little Australian Shepherd named Benji. So if you hear anything in the background, that's him watching me very intently because he wants to come and cuddle with me. Anyway, we have a very nice vlog today. I want to show you guys my vision board, my prayer board, slash prayer board, and then I'm also making a king cake and I'll go into more details about the symbolism behind the king cake because it's very interesting and it's very nice and it's a nice little tradition that they have going down here in New Orleans and then in other parts of the war world other people also uh, make a version of king cake so what's cool about the king cake that's made in New Orleans is that they put um, uh, purple, yellow, and green sprinkles on top to represent the three kings and like I said I'll go into more of that later. Going forward I want to talk about the new year and initially I still don't really have a new year's resolution. My goal is just to continue on with what I've been doing this far because it has been working for me but I noticed that when I did create the prayer uh, vision board with my friends. Oh yeah, I'll also link the video to this video. I forgot that I made, I forgot. Yeah, well, I, okay, let's go back, let's go back. So I actually had a vision board party slash dinner with two of my friends and um, it was very nice. I got, a instead of getting magazines, I went to Amazon and I bought like a book of photos and we all just cut them out. I got the boards, I got these really cute tags What's that? which I actually want to show you guys so let me go and get them I'll be right back so it was a really nice party I hosted it at my house and we had a dinner I made a uh, roti and curry chicken uh, and it was very good it came out decently well I made it more into a soup but whatever that's neither here or there it came out good and we enjoyed it and then we just chilled around the coffee table and we made these vision boards uh, we initially we were going to do it in December but there was just so much going on and then I took it upon myself to like buy the the magazine because we were trying to get magazines from well I was trying to get a magazine from like CVS Walgreens for free because I didn't want to just buy magazines and not really know what's inside I mean I could have flipped through them that's true but listen if you can be frugal why not why not be frugal so I went to CVS I was like do you guys have any magazines that you guys want to throw out they were like we already threw them out and then I was like okay and then actually my friends, they had got magazines, so we actually went to my friend's house to do the vision boards and it wasn't really organized to the max. Like I had like cut out cardboard from some boxes that I had and then my friends had the magazines and we flipped through them and we couldn't really find any inspiring photos, so that's what happened. So we were like, okay, let's do this a different day. and. That's what happened. So I went off trying to get magazines, couldn't find any, and then I went to Amazon because Amazon has everything. So I went on there and I found a book and I decided to host the party. So that being said, I got the boards, some cork boards that you can actually hang up, which I'll show you guys in a second. I got the pins, which I will show you guys right now. And I also got the book. I should go get the book. I still have it. I didn't throw it away yet. Um, we went crazy and was cutting out a lot of pictures guys excuse my nails because I'm literally baking and I just finished like kneading some um kneading the dough so so this is a push pin I don't know you guys probably can't see it but I don't want to mess up the uh focus so this is this is a push pin very cute um this is a clothes pin very nice okay, you guys can see it if it is actually functional so you can open it <laughs> and this is just another pin and it's just a big one it's a big thumbtack compared to the little thumbtack you guys can see so I don't know it just brings a little bit of um, texture to your board I'll show you in a second I did use the big one I use a small one then you have these which Benji's here is on this one Right, this one is dented look the pin is going downwards I don't know how that happened and it's so funny this is the one that I picked up anyway you can hang stuff on this um, jewelry 
necklaces, whatever, if you want to jazz up. Oh, you can use this to hang like a calendar or whatever. So very cool to use. And I think I showed you guys everything, like the prints. So, so yeah, it, the box came with five different ones. And I cannot, I don't quote me on this. Um, I think it came with 300 pins. So this is the whole case. And yeah, so it was enough for three people and you see how much it loves. So I would say this alone, I mean, let's pretend we're not using these because these are kind of like special. You would use them to hang stuff, but I think you can probably comfortably um, host a party of like five, including yourself and buy this set. And then there was also another box that had a little less. I think it had like 200 or something, but I got that one because I did not want to run out. There's nothing worse than being a host and running out of stuff. So I got the big one. All right, so this is my vision board. Vision slash player board. Okay, so the only thing I, the only thing. Oh yeah, let me make space. Okay. Oops. Let me move stuff around. So this is my vision slash prayer board. Right now it's purely a vision board because there's no scriptures on it. That's the only thing I wish I would have bought is like a book or like scripture stuff inside. So it's miss it's missing the scriptures. It's missing the scriptures. But you guys take a good look. So I'm trying to look at the phone and so I can point out what's on this board okay <laughs> I'm gonna start from the right side so if you see the top corner there is a woman holding money band out so we could all use some more money so why not um money makes the world go around of course money is not all you want to think about but it's nice to have it's a good reminder um, just to make it look beautiful, I'll put some leaves. I love nature. This is a woman pregnant, so I do want to have children one day. And, you know, it's not too premature to <laughs> post this on my board. So it's another baby. She's feeding her child, her daughter, um, family, obviously, more baby stuff. So this is the baby section of the board. Um, I love when we were doing uh, the vision board party. <laughs> I was in search actually for this image. This image is a blown up picture of this one. And these are peonies. And during the vision party, I was calling it all kinds of weird names. I won't go into what I was calling it, but it was funny, we were laughing. And I love these flowers and I like pink. Um, green blue, favorite colors with pink. I also love pink, so it's nice to have. Just to make the board look pretty. Um, dreams do come true or dreams come true, yes. I'm ready for my babies, my family. And then we have, what does that say there? Don't give up on the person you are becoming. And that is a great quote because sometimes when we're working towards our goal, we can give up right when we're super close to achieving whatever it is that we're trying to achieve. So don't give up on that person. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to do too much stuff at once because it's not even your fault. You're basically overwhelming your brain. And so keep on going forward that's my advice so friendship very important more dinners i love hosting and then luckily i have friends i love to host as well so it's a very balanced have a very balanced friend group i'm very lucky i must say very very lucky i appreciate my friends so much so i just want more of that um if you want it work for it obviously you know you gotta keep working pamper you have to pamper yourself it's super important i forget that sometimes um one thing about being living by yourself is that at least for me because i love to do stuff for other people i'm like forced to take a look at myself and go hey you know maybe you should go do your nails today my nails are not done but you know whatever but you know more pampering and just getting things that you love nice candles really nice lotions something that just awakens the senses you know very good uh, stuff to have I like facial masks so I should be really doing more of that um just a reminder because I'm not gonna lie sometimes I do get discouraged sorry this says 
obviously girl you <laughs> girl you totally got this um sometimes i do get discouraged um with anything that i'm doing because we want to be perfect at things as soon as we get started and that's something that i had to work on myself uh with like it's okay if you struggle struggle is actually a part of the process and it's normal and um i don't know as a kid i just had this complex like if i wasn't good at it right away i just never was going to be good ever so i don't know where that stemmed from i'm sure it came from school or just me like that's just part of my character <laughs> it's like i guess taking things to heart i don't know but this is perfect for me like girl you got this keep working towards whatever you're working um for you'll get there eventually and the journey is gonna be hard at first but once it becomes a habit you become good at it it's all good from there car oops car definitely need a car to get around here it will be more comfortable to get around here the transportation system is actually not that bad in new orleans so i'm grateful for that but definitely a car would be great because i love grocery shopping and instacart is just not cutting it i'm grateful for it but sometimes i want to be able you know if they can't get something i want to be able to go to a different store myself and actually get it that's important investing Ugh. investing um I'm a, I'm a decent investor i just need more capital to actually invest but i just want to invest more because investing for the future investing for retirement and stuff like that what is it good energy is contagious that is true i live it i live it <laughs> good energy is contagious um i'm working on balancing myself because i'm like that chronic maybe almost toxic positive thinker so sometimes um you just have to um you have to acknowledge the negativity that's in your life and deal with it so sometimes being overly positive you're not dealing with the the negative events in your life or just negative things so it's great to be positive but you also have to acknowledge the negative so just to throw that in there make sure you guys can see uh think happy of course fluent in language i am still learning italian i'm getting i'm getting better at it that's something that i thought i i wasn't giving up i just thought the pursuit was useless because i've been studying for years and it's still a bit difficult but i'm able slowly but surely it started to actually sound like english like my brain is like regis registering it so that makes me feel good and it encourages me and motivates me to move forward so yeah so that's still there because I'm, I'm still working on it choose happy of course somewhere down the line in my future i don't know if you guys can see i want to have a library so this is just a couch in a library i love books i actually want to start reading some more so there's more books more books taking a shower and reading a book can you see guys see that that's what she's doing um uh, more books uh work more on youtube and i'm still navigating this youtube journey and figure out figuring out what exactly i want to post but definitely i want to post about my life um my life can be you know i mean i'm a normal person so it can be a little boring sometimes but it's okay um it's weird like i'm like somewhere in the middle where i want to enjoy the moment and not vlog and then other times i'm like wow you should have vlogged about that you didn't and i feel bad so I am not a social media person. I am not a social media person. I guess I want to be one. But the problem is that I am not a recorder. Like, I love to take pictures of other people. And it's hard for me to be on camera myself. Because I just don't... I don't know. I'm not camera shy. I'm just like... When you like have your phone and you're pointed towards yourself. And you can see everything you're doing. It's kind of weird. So that's just the honest truth. So now my little... You know ring light there which is actually right there rose love rose actually have a rose in my fridge that i've been saving for a very particular moment in time so the day <laughs> the day that i open that rose is gonna be is gonna be a very memorable day memorable day for me because i've had that bottle of rose since like 2020 <laughs> A long time it's four years hopefully it's still good i don't know how long rose lasts but it's aging let's just put it that way 
food, love food. I want to eat more healthy. I want to eat some more greens because I'm lacking. For real, I'm definitely lacking in greens. I will say I have not eaten a piece of fruit this month. <laughs> That's not good. It's very bad. Eat your fruits and vegetables. I finally bought lettuce to eat with my sandwiches, so I'm very proud of myself. But I've been definitely been slacking with like the the greens. I was I was uh, making smoothies way more last year. I fell off. Don't ask me why. I love smoothies, but like you should actually have the fiber. Well, no, a smoothie does have the fiber. Well, that's true. But I heard that it's better to like chew your food so the enzymes can like break it down like in your mouth and then swallow it. Swallow it. But people have different opinions on it, so I honestly don't know. Um, here is the romance section. You know, two people married. I'm actually, I am married. That's a long story that I'll tell you guys one day. Um, maybe it's romance stuff. This is actually a picture of my person, but I'm not gonna reveal it. And great things never came from comfort zones, and that is the truth. Let's see. That is pure facts. Can't argue with that. I want to do more traveling. I travel a lot, oops, I travel a lot, so I didn't make it like a big part of my board. That's just something that needs to be done and it's a necessity for me to travel. So I didn't make it like this big thing that I have to figure out because, you know, part of my life. And that is it. So, and I just got some cute little things everywhere. Um, you know, a little cuddle action with the Netflix and the TV, not Netflix and chill, just Netflix and TV. That's it. And that is my board and you guys can see I used a little uh, clothes pin. I got my little round pins, push pins. Like, it's very cute. I love it. And it's a nice little board. I think I did a good job with it. I didn't leave any. I love you too. I didn't leave any space on the board, but I'll probably move stuff around, especially when I put some scriptures on here. Or maybe I can get another board with scriptures. I don't know. Thank you. Oh my, Benji's looking at me and his breast stinks. So yeah, this is the board. This is the back. This is the string. The string and the, the hooks you actually have to install yourself, but it's pretty easy. Uh, be careful if you're creating this board. The pins actually go through the other side of the board, so you have to be very careful. And actually, when I got my board, everything you see on this side was on this side. And you can see the little, you guys see that? This piece, I don't know, it's, I guess it's like to mark the board. So you know it's backwards. Or this is just how they joined it. But it was bothering me so much that I took, I took a picture of this and took everything off and put it on the right side because it was bothering me. I'm that, yeah. I just couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, so that's my board. I'll do a pan of it so you can guys, so you can see the whole board and see it close up and all the images. And I will leave the links for everything in the description. Um, I'm not getting any commission off of it or anything. I just want to share this out, share this with you guys so you guys can have it. And I'll also put the book in the description as well so you have that. Uh, the book will all the. Sorry guys if the lighting is different. Uh, the phone ran out of memory, so I had to clear some things up. So this is actually the book that I got from Amazon with all the photos. I the photos, the pages are per perforated. Perfor I think that's proliferate. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. It has the whole so you can rip it out. <laughs> so I ripped out all the pictures just to make it easier for my friends when they came over. So this is what's left over. So as you can see, they're like in little squares. There's room for you to cut them out so you're not cutting into the pictures. So the little pictures are on one side and then the big pictures on, on the other side. So if you buy this book, make sure you really like flip through. And before you cut anything, make sure you don't want something that's on the opposite side. So I'll just show you, just list two or three of what's available. So this is just like some food, some wine. What do you guys see? Then the back has flowers. So this is pretty. I haven't thrown out the book yet because I'm 
I may want to change some stuff up. So it's travel. Then like, as you see the back has some green stuff and you can use these pictures just to create an aesthetic for your board, some work stuff, a little croissant, I think. Oh, that's not a croissant, <laughs> this is a keyboard. Um, you know, just stuff. So this stuff for everybody. There's some animals here and just different things. So it's something from, for everyone. I would say this book is more geared towards women. So if you're a man, and you're looking for images of, of males you won't really see it in this book so um listen if you're thinking of a business idea you know you can make a vision board book for for men that would be a great idea but as far as like family stuff there's definitely a lot of family stuff in here um there's some luxury kind of things in here there's arts like i said it's all for it's for women so i would if you're a man i would not recommend this book um, if you're looking for like stuff for marriage and just like images and some, even the logos, like the quotes, I would say are geared towards women. It's not really like masculine. Um, so yeah, and there's some like work stuff. So there's stuff in here. It's cute. As you see, we cut a lot of stuff out. It was three of us, but they're still, you know, we're all different. We all have, we all have different personalities. And while you're creating your vision board, your idea might change of what you actually want on it. So I would just say, cut everything out, whatever you like. You might even discover something about yourself when making these vision boards. So go do the vision board, your prayer board with an open mind and just cut out whatever speaks to you. Don't think too much about it. And do not pin anything to your board until one, you know it's the right side and everything is placed where you want it and then you can start pushing pins in and going crazy this is really nice so let's see this is like a pale like muted um kind of uh, aesthetic very bohemian and chill i like the little chandeliers and everything so you know that's what you can do and just figure out i mean you can even figure out what your favorite colors are by doing this board so just Go at it with an open mind okay so that's that tons tons more but we're not going into i'm not going to show you everyone but like i said more more so geared towards women than men so i, I didn't look for a men's vision board photos so if there isn't any like i said there's a market for it so whoever is like an entrepreneur or whatever that's something to think about but at the same time you know what i don't even know if men do vision prayer boards i have no idea so maybe that's why <laughs> but just want to let you guys know that so if you are like a woman and you're planning a vision board party and there happens to be a male there try to get some male images for specifically for that person your friend your family member and that's it so i have to go finish making the king cake and record it so i'll see you guys in a little bit